my name is professor sabina sheikh today we're going to learn what is corporate governance so before we start we should know what is the meaning of corporate corporate means a large business entity or a big organization and what is governance governance means it's an action or a manner of governing a body okay the way the organization run is called governance okay it's an action or a manner of governing the organization now what is corporate governance students corporate governance is a system by which companies are managed and controlled okay and by whom this companies are managed by control definitely one of them is the board of directors and other is the shareholders okay board of directors shareholders etc they are the people who are responsible for running the company okay so corporate governance is the system by which companies are managed and controlled board of directors are responsible for the management of their companies the role of shareholders play an important role and its and its governance is to appoint directors and auditors and to satisfy themselves that then an adequate governance structure is in the place in short over here what we are trying to learn is that shareholders play an important role board of directors also play an important role so all the decision cannot be taken only by board of directors okay shareholders are also responsible to take as many decision as possible for the governance of the organization and by doing so what will happen by doing so they're going to do good for the organization and they're going to satisfy themselves too okay so let's go through some of the importance of corporate governance okay first is changing the just a minute yeah first is changing the ownership structure now who is the owner of the organization who is the owner of the corporate definitely the board of directors okay they are one, they are one of the owners of the organization the the founders are the owner of the organization so what happen here is when we talk about ownership okay what the ownership structure of the companies now it has been changed a lot because of public financial institution mutual fund etc okay now what happen over here now shareholders are uh, you know playing a important part in most of the large company by doing this what happens is shareholders have an effective control on management of the companies okay now when shareholders has an important role to play in an organization what they are going to do they are going to run the company they are going to force management to use corporate government corporate governance they can put pressure to the management they can put pressure on the management to become more efficient more transparent and accountable so here there is a change in the ownership structure so when the owner the, the main ownership structure was in the hand of only board of directors then the company's management will have all the authority and rights to do whatever they want but when the uh, you know the shareholders comes in picture they are going to do something better why because they are going to share their point of view also okay be because and they can speak on the behalf of the other people also they can ask management okay to make consumer friendly policies to protect all the social group to protect the environment also okay so here it's a very very important point second is it's an it's very very important okay it's it's a social responsibility why it is important see the board of directors what they have to do they protect the rights of the customers employees shareholders local communities etc how is it possible it is possible only when they use corporate governance okay third point is mediocrity on the part of shareholders okay you can also write uh, the importance on the part of shareholders why it is important on the part of shareholders because over here they the board of directors they give the right to consumers employees shareholders and suppliers local communities okay and they give everything for the society for the benefit of society for the benefit of organization so shareholders also play a important 
roll over here okay mergers acquisition now we talk about mergers acquisition and takeovers what happened here students okay shareholders what are they do what they do shareholders are inactive in management of the companies they only attend what they do basically their role is to just attend annual general meeting okay yearly meeting like annual general meeting theek hai postal ballot still absent in india okay in many companies proxies are also not allowed okay what happened the director misuse their power for their own benefits okay so there is a need of corporate governance to protect the stakeholders of the company okay next point is globalization the most today the most uh, the large companies what they are doing they are selling their goods in the global market they have they are uh, you know very much inclined to attract the foreign investors and foreign customers so they have to follow foreign rules and regulation okay whatever the other country rules and regulations are there they need to follow that all this requires what all this requires a proper corporate governance without corporate governance it is very very uh, you know difficult to survive in the global market all right students next point over here is our sebi now we should know that sebi has made corporate governance compulsory for all the companies okay for all the large companies this is done why this is done to protect the interest of the investors and other stakeholders in the organization so these are the important points of corporate governance why corporate governance is important because it it help in the below mentioned point okay if the corporate governance is not present then these point will not have its value or these points these uh, you know things will not take place in an organization thank you so much for being with me now the next topic would be corporate governance and the joining topic is the ethics so next topic what we are going to learn is about the ethics thank you so much